Hello, World of Warships world. Today we are going to have a look at a replay and we're gonna call this one the No Fun Effect. Clan No Fun, of course, is recruiting, so if you're a competent player and you're watching this video and you're looking for a new clan, well, why not give it a shot? Well, I guess. Uh... I don't have to tell you this because if you're watching this video, you're probably part of no fun anyway. But uh, I digress. So here we have Ruven in his first game with the no fun crew. In this case, Sosman in his patented Hindenburg, his favorite ship, and Abulia in the Moskva because you can never go wrong with the Russian cruiser. And Ruben himself in the also very balanced Smolot. Sadly, there is no submarine in this game, so we're not going to experience the full uh, glory of World of Warships. But at least there's a Nakhimov on each team, so uh, some enjoyment will be had. And <laughs> of course. <laughs> No one enjoys carriers more than Abulia, so the Nakimov decides, yep, my first target is going to be him. I, I don't know how he does it. Abulia is just CV magnet. And of course, it's instantly a double player. <laughs> uh, yeah, at least the planes die, so they're not going to make it back to the CV. Uh, write in the comments if you want to know how many planes a Nakimov can have over a 20-minute match, and I will tell you. Um, uh, obviously I have a charge for that sort of thing but yeah uh, losing your first squad entirely is not great but it's it's not gonna cripple him so our no fun heroes are going to move out to the eastern side here on the hot spot map if we have a quick look at the teams fittingly named enemy um, the enemy is smallland uh, what stands out on the good side is this guy, maybe, and Cots or whatever you want to call them. They have some good players, some very mediocre players, so you're never quite sure if you have one of the good ones there. But let's just let's just assume he's one of the good ones. There's a Salem there, and there's a Slava there. Not sure why the Slava is coming this way. I am not a Slava player myself, and not a battleship player really, but. Uh, I think you want to have broadsides because you cannot overmatch stuff. So being there, I don't know. Maybe he can still shoot this way. Not sure. Well, uh, the Salem apparently is a radar Salem because the 8.5 km radar is so useful. And yeah, now the Salem is fucked because yeah, you are a DPM cruiser, but. You're not gonna win a DPM race against a Hindenburg and a Moskva and a Smolot. For some reason, my camera again keeps jumping. Um, it should be free camera, but I think when Ruven presses free look, it messes with my free camera. Abulia came out here uh, to lob the island there. and also shoot the Salem and yeah that that Salem is not gonna have a fun time it's now reversing but of course he gets radar by Ulia so yeah probably not the kind of match he was hoping for great he's got a super heal but that's just more HP to farm for the good guys So here the Salem loses his head and he decides, okay, I cannot sit there and get farmed to death, so I'm just gonna push in and die even quicker. I guess that's a thing you could do. At least he citadels Abulia, so that was his success for this game. But then Abulia just angles a little more and nothing's gonna happen. <laughs> Uh, now there's a Yamato coming around the corner. Not sure if you're that Yamato and that you really want to do that because 
it is rather obvious there's a Yamato here. The Yamato just killed the Salem. You know there's a Moskva, a Hindenburg and a, and a small aunt who just farmed your Salem to death. Uh, so, yeah, why, why are you doing this, Yamato? I don't understand. That makes no sense at all. In the meantime, two of the friendly DDs have done what friendly DDs tend to do. They died. There is, of course, Harugumo, Smallant, Kleber. All three of them are rather dangerous because they're also very good gunboats, so you don't necessarily want to encounter them if you are playing a Smallant, but it looks like they're all pretty far away. Who is not far away, however, is this gearing. I... I don't know. There's so many weird decisions in this game, the Salem, the Yamato, and now this gearing. Uh, What's he doing? Why is he shooting AP? He's bouncing his shots. I don't understand. And why was he even there? Why is he now beach? It makes no sense whatsoever. Engine boost helps our small anti-hero to easily escape the gearing. While we see on the horizon the Yamato burning down. And that's a double strike. We've got two of them, indeed. Yeah, no no idea why the gearing was even there. Uh, clearly, he could see the small ant was shooting from here, so he knew the small ant was right in his face. What, what was his plan there? I don't understand. Uh, I guess we can't complain. Now there's the Kleber. Uh, as I said earlier, a uh, dangerous gunboat in general, but this Kleber has already lost most of his HP and of course Smolant has a heal so that can offset uh, the trouble that a Kleber with its French situation can pose and the Kleber just dies. We yes. <laughs> really? <laughs> what was he thinking? Like He knew the Smolant had just killed his gearing so, what? I don't understand. Uh, the Harugumo in the meantime, Harugumo clearly playing the objective. The objective is to take the cap zones. You've got three already, so you have to go for the fourth one. Also, he's got a free run at the CV. The Sherman could maybe contest him, but the Sherman has this small land to contend with. On this side, the flank is won, Slava is in full retreat, with the Yamato in pursuit. And Yamato has to be careful that this Preussen cannot shoot his broadside, if he really wants to go this way. So, some torps in the direction of the Preussen. Preussen, of course, has a Hydro, but at least they're gonna take some of his attention and then he has to dodge and maybe he can take some fire from other ships in the meantime. The Harugomo dies, he did make it to the CV. But there's a small ant, so yeah, maybe the small ant can get to the CV, but what am I saying? Look at the HP, probably not. Smolan using the Harugumo smoke, I doubt it's his own, and dies. I, I don't, I just don't understand these people. So, the enemy destroyers won this side very comfortably. They were Smolan, Harugumo, and Kleber, and then the Kleber decided to suicide into D, and the Harugumo and Smolan just suicided into C. I have no idea why they did that. It didn't even look too bad for them, and then they just decided to throw it all away. But I guess that's that's also part of the no fun effect. They saw the no fun guys, and they knew they had to make a desperate play to even have the slightest chance of winning this match. This camera jumping is doing my head in. Poison enjoying the rain of fire back there. At least we cannot complain, Conqueror and Yamato and Ohio 
the three ships that are the furthest forward are all battleships usually the guys who want to sit in the back and camp obviously William burns down the poison and yeah what can I say it's the game is already over or not already it's been 10 minutes but yeah the enemy team won this flank but then didn't capitalize and I suppose Ohio Slava Schlieffen that's kind of a lot of HP to chew through and they weren't able to do that probably helps the Sherman I'm just gonna say he was a competent player as I said end quotes could be competent player or very mediocre player just gonna assume he was a competent player because he survived against smaller Tarugmo and Kleber and the other three are all dead so the Slava and Puerto Rico are in a regatta to the A line the Montana is just sitting back there and Nakimov is sitting behind his island but of course he's being spotted by the planes so people can shoot him uh, I guess there was the Yamato that just did that and now it's a race for score who can do the most damage get the most caps shoot on the most planes to maximize XP gains Obviously also the phase in which you can play rather recklessly because there's no way you're gonna lose this. Um, I, I doubt even the, the World of Warships player base could lose this even if they tried. Then again we, we've seen some pretty special accomplishments in that regard. Having a look at the competition there, Sherman obviously also wants to get some of the juicy damage. And everyone wants to kill the CV. The main prize. Whatever that says, first word is Nakhimov. Nakhimov to the down? Something like that, I have no idea. Hmm. Slava tries to shoot in the small end. He's gonna regret that, I bet. It's no Naki. Stop jumping, camera. Nakimov is going for the Sherman. Hooray. Like 300 damage, something like that. And now the Slava. He's gonna get a taste of his own medicine, well not quite his own medicine, his own medicine is obviously AP. And the Puerto Rico died to the pre-launch torps, very nice. <laughs> and Slava dies to the HE spam, so yeah. We got two of them again, that's a double double strike and a kraken for Ruven this game. As I said, the first game he played with the no fun crowd, so this is obviously the no fun effect people who join no fun just get all the achievements automatically it's part of our contract with wargaming all four caps have been taken and the game is going to be over very soon uh, obviously the score timer mod doesn't work in replays but yeah there can be no doubt at this point so the nofan group killed half the enemy team the uh, standout player obviously being Ruven here with five kills and a double double strike uh, i don't have the score screen but I can tell you it was 2.3k base XP and of course first place on the team. And that's all for today. The no fun effect, ladies and gentlemen.